Good morning. I was going to film a What I Ate Wednesday today and then life happened, and I, but I'm here to keep it real. So last night I woke up at around two, I think. Pretty sure because I was, I had pain in my closet and I was probably, the fumes were probably, <laughs> probably shouldn't have been sleeping in my room with all the paint fumes, but anyway, um, sometimes these things can really knock us off and especially the following day can be really rough. And I've um, learned that in when things get stressful or when things get complicated or hard or things don't go as planned, you know, you don't wake up in the morning and say, oh, I just had the most beautiful eight hours. Like I'm just ready to go and let's burn all this energy. Instead, I feel like that day is um, at least an opportunity to be really kind to yourself and to also move really slowly and also to eat really simply. So today, um, and also, you know, when you don't sleep well, often that really affects how you eat. So your body didn't really get what it needed um, by getting a good night's rest. And so you're gonna have a tendency to want to eat a little bit more erratic or have, you know, interesting cravings, that kind of thing. But for me, I just want to show um, a real look at, you know, typical day. Like sometimes you just don't sleep well and that's okay. That's an opportunity to um, start over and be really, um, just have a more simple day and rest as much as you can. And also, I just want to share what I'm going to be eating and what I have been eating for breakfast. So here's my breakfast. I left one little orange, but basically I just ate about 10 oranges. And I really love mono meals. Mono just mean eating the same one thing, but a lot of it. It could be bananas. I love fruit in the morning. It's simple. Your body's really eager and ready for that. Um, you know, easy glucose at the first thing in the morning. And um, just having a big bowl of beautiful oranges is really gonna serve you well. And you don't have to make anything complicated. You don't have to measure anything. It can just be sitting down and mindfully eating a little bowl of oranges. What I'd advise is right after you eat breakfast is prep lunch because being prepared makes eating well a lot easier, you know what I'm saying? So I like to soak rice. I'm gonna do two cups and just bring this over to fill with water. And, um, you know, allowing the rice to soak and then you'll rinse it a few times. It's rid of any extra starch and just allows it to digest even easier. Again, when you're feeling stressed, when things aren't going your way or whatever, um, move slowly and give your body every opportunity to um, relax into digesting your food and digesting your day because it's not running at full speed if you're stressed or if you're not sleeping well or you've got chronic pain or all of that stuff. So soak your rice, touch your food, and then you'll be in a lot better situation on your next meal. So I'll check back in with you a little bit later. Hey girl. Hey kitty. Okay, here's the Madras lentils Costco hack. I'll share the recipe below and the modifications that I used. It's not a grand slam because one of my kids doesn't like it. He just wants plain black beans. But, you know, two out of three ain't bad.
Thank you.